All right, welcome. So here's Mike, Schedule Valley College again. I've been talking with um, Alan Rick from Wake Speed, and um, yeah, we're having some some fun fun times with the regulator. So first thing I wanted to do is I have to admit I was complaining a little bit because when I got the instructions out for the Wake Speed, printed them, it's like a lot of pages, and I, uh, you know, to my technicians, I thought eh, they might shy away from this. Actually, it's not that bad. So I am here to tell you, future technicians, easy to program the wake speed. Okay? So uh, the first couple six pages will get you what you need to do. If you really want to get in depth and know what's going on, you can look towards the back. But you go to their website, instructions are there, it's super easy. So let's pop over and start with our um, two year old regulator because it's never had the firmware updated. So we're going to go over and show you how easy it is to update firmware. Okay, so on my machine, we've downloaded the file and we're going to go over and plug it in. So let's go check it out. We're talking about updating our WS500. This is one of the early models we've been using for a couple of years. We're teaching students how to do this. <clears throat> Wanted to put it out there to show you how easy it is to actually upload the firmware and or to put in a different program when these things are new. So all you got to do is download the latest version off from Wakespeed's website, which was 2.3.1 this week, and open up this batch file, and it gives you instructions. It says push and hold the reset button for five seconds, and then when you're done with that, you're going to put in, press a key, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. So I got it going and I push continue, updating firmware, and it runs through here. It's a percentage, 36, 50, boom, 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 boom. It runs like that, and there it is, just that easy. It says, uh, completed without errors, remove the USB cable, so we can pull this USB cable out, push the reset switch again once, and this thing is back online with the updated software. Okay, I think that worked pretty well. You can see how easy it was to update firmware. So I've got this one sitting here, and this one <clears throat> is brand new. Um, big shout out to Wake Speed. They're helping us out at King's Pride. They said if you're going to put a boat out and go around the world, you better put the best voltage regulator on it. We're pretty sure we're doing Firefly batteries. This, is a, this can be programmed with the specifics. So you can program with a phone. And I've got a, another little video about that. Um, super easy as well. But I think using these little batch files is even easier. So let's show you how fast it is. The nice part about this is you can program this regulator before you go out and put it on the boat. So I just got it, I unboxed it, I set it here. I simply plugged in my USB cable to it. I got the lid off, just that easy and I can now go to the Firefly file, config file, open it up. Oops, uh, wrong one. You got to open the batch file. And it says right in here, we are programming this for carbon, uh, carbon foam fireflies. So <clears throat> when the USB is connected, uh, press any key to continue and loaded confirmation looking for regulator finished and verify it's complete without errors just that easy um, you can dump any profile while you're drinking your cup of coffee into this regulator okay so i got it set up we can use the telephone as well probably when i get it on the boat just to upload and look at it make sure the file is there but <clears throat> super easy they've got tons of built-in profiles um, on their website and so check it out it's easy to do technicians make sure you do it right set it up right the batteries are going to be totally happy okay programming WS500 part 3 uh, you've already seen how easy it is to update and you've seen that you can dump a batch file at your desk, your workstation, all works great. This is about using your smartphone in order to program. So we are gonna put on King's Pride three 
of these Firefly 4 volt cells. Well, they can be two or four volt, the L16. So we're gonna do three of these, which will make a really nice battery bank. And so I wanna show you, if you were to take one of these and with the factory program and what you would need to do in order to upload the right profile. And so you just pop the cover off and get your USB. Uh, the older ones were micro, uh, which is what this one is. And the newer ones have a square a little different style USB. So you just gotta have a cable that'll connect your smartphone to the voltage regulator. And by the way, this one, come to find out, this is a day later, I had to stop and teach a lesson, um, but we're always learning things at Marine Tech. I had the cable in backwards. Uh, it's directional, come to find out. And so this is normally how you would charge it. The white end would be plugged into the phone, but in order to get it to communicate, I bought this little adapter for 10 bucks, um, I had to flip it around. So. Tech tip, you might need to switch that. So, super easy now. I bring up, first thing it's gonna ask for is my alternator. And uh, we are gonna also put on, uh, I was talking, Nigel Calder did a lesson with us in the electrical class for King's Pride. We're gonna go pretty sure with the uh, American Power System, APS, and we're, we're, so you click the down menu, APS, how big? 255 or 360 it already knows in the drop down menu what we have uh, we can give it a name and then we can jump over to batteries okay so we it the right the program now knows what are we using what are we charging because we got to know what we're charging and how much we've got so now uh brand of batteries we're just going to click firefly and the default was these group 31 so we're going to go to four volt l16s and how many of them well it gives me an error if you put in one because that's not going to work with that alternator so back up three of those done and it just says boom we got it ws 500 uh carbon phone and uh, carbon fiber which is firefly approved three of those it automatically knows we got 450 amp hours of storage that way this can do its smart stuff and regulate current. We've already talked about all those great features. Then I go to my system. It's gonna talk about the shunt. You can do other things. Um, as a matter of fact, I wanted to go into here and um, if you turn on, you can turn on small alternator mode or um, other, other features. You can limit current. I think we're gonna limit ours probably to 90% or something like that. And that's going to be great we're going to go to our system it's going to talk about our shunt if it ends up being reversed you can just click a button and then you pull down the drop down menu and we're going to program the regulator to this now by the way uh later this week we're going to go to a 42 nordic tug and we're going to grab the profile on it because we want to make sure that it matches the new set of batteries that the owner they just put in some uh, full rivers but uh, so you can also plug this in and and copy the regulator profile and look at it on your phone to, to ensure that everything's correct. And so we'll do that too when we put our regulator on King's Pride. Um, so I'm just gonna hit the program regulator. It comes up a little screen with a little red and blue and it, it cycles through and then it's going to do a little pop-up screen right here and that says transfer complete. And just like that, we have programmed this for our three fireflies using an APS alternator. Now this is this one's a Balmar, but you get the point. They make it easy for us. Fabulous regulator. So, thanks for watching.